Hey guys, it's Crystal from Silhouette for Lasers. I had one of our conference attendees reach out to me and she was trying to apply what I taught them in the class about um, applying text to a curve or line or a shape and she needed some uh, extra assistance. So I decided to go ahead and record a video and um, you'll have to forgive my voice I think talking for three plus days uh, got to me so let's get started the badge you can see right here on the left is the one that she did herself and unfortunately she was manually placing each one of these letters by hand and that's definitely not the easiest way to do it so I'm going to show you how I would do it if I needed to place this text on the badge. So I've already typed out police and I'm going to double click and then select the little plus sign down here in the bottom left and then the curved text tool in silhouette kind of leaves something to be desired so it can be a little tricky to get it exactly where you need it but we're going to do our best. So we're going to take this and try and get it to pick up this line here in the middle. Again, very finicky. Oh, almost. Let's try zooming in and see if that will help us. There we go. Okay, so now I got it on the line that I want. I have to careful. Don't breathe too hard. It might jump down to the one below. And then I'm just going to eyeball placement for now. And then I'm using the crosshairs of my mouse to kind of see, you know, it, are they even with each other? Is it centered? I want to move it over just a little bit to the left and hope. And that looks a little bit better. Just, just a little bit more. I think that's pretty centered. I'm happy with how that looks. So before I mess with the centering too much, I'm going to actually, let's zoom back out. I'm going to actually mess with the character spacing here to kind of match the look that she was going for here on the left. And with our text still selected, I'm going to pull the character spacing to the right. And that's about how she had it. And then now we're going to adjust this again to get it centered. I think that looks pretty good. Yep. With our crosshairs, it kind of shows us that the tip of the P and the tip of the E are in line with each other. And then now, we're going to use this little toggle here on the left-hand side to bring it up off of that line and in the center. And actually, to me, that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to carefully let go. And if we right-click and make compound path, we should be good to go. So now it's going to stay in that shape. But as soon as you make it a compound path, you cannot go back and edit that text. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this for the rest of the words that she had, but I am going to kind of speed it up a little bit just to not waste your time, but so that I can show you how it's done. And before I go on and do the rest of the text, I'm actually going to make a copy of that text. And see so now it's not on that line, so it's not that same shape. But now I have the same text that we want. We might still need to adjust the character spacing depending on how it sits on the other curves and lines. But now I have the same text in a similar size and I don't have to do that part all over.
we have left is the Texas at the bottom, but that's a straight line kind of within a box. So we really don't need the curved text tool, but I'm going to go ahead and finish that real quick. And a little hack I use, so I kind of want to get this like perfectly centered within this little box here, but I can't really do that because this isn't a shape that I can select. So I'm going to make a rectangle that is close to that shape that mimics it. I will select them both. Oh, first. One little other thing to mention, if you can see here, my text box is as small as it can go. And I want to make sure that when I'm centering this, it's centering only this text right here and not the entire text box. So I'm actually going to right click and make it a compound path. There we go. So that it only has my two little letters selected. And then I'm going to select the shape I made go up to center there we go and then delete this because we don't need it anymore so that is how I would personally adjust the text on this badge or something similar so that the text will follow the curve of a line circle ribbon etc I hope that was helpful I'll see you in the groups. Check out silhouetteforlasers.com if you would like more instruction and a more in-depth learning experience through my five-week course called Silhouette for Lasers. Have a good day. Bye.